hey guys, we're in the compost pile, as you can see, because I need compost. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to um, win give my hellebores a little bit of compost. They need fertilizer this time of year because they start blooming the end of February through spring. This is the first season I've had. I planted them last year in March and they were in bloom, but they've come through a hard winter and I'll show you how we're going to clean them up, fertilize them. And while we're up there, clean up a little bit in that bed um, beside where the water barrel goes and clean out some chickweed. Now's the best time ever. Um, I'll show you when I get up there, chickweed. There's, I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, and now it just comes out so easily out of the ground that it's one way to take care of it. So let's get started. Let me get some compost. Like I said, I've stirred my compost around. It wasn't frozen today. It's 41 degrees. Through the weekend, it was nine degrees, really cold. And uh, this is the warmest day we've had in a while. And the week looks like of uh, the next 10 days, 40s, 50s. This heuchera has done, I have two heucheras here that I've just nestled in the uh, compost in their pots to get them through winter till I decide where they're going to go. And they've done really well just putting them in. I'm going to use, yeah, I started, that's, that's almost totally composted. This is better composted compost. But with heucheras, you can use your compost or composted manure. Uh, and then some people actually can throw some plant toad. But since I have the compost and that soil up there, it's well drained, but it's on a slope. It's in I a, think you had your H's wrong. My H's? Uh huh. Did I say heucheras and not yes, hellebore? You sure did. <sighs> Heck. See, that's what you need a producer for. Right? I know. Yeah, that's why Keep I'm here. Keep me on my toes. Me, it's, it's so easy to say. Of course, you just said heucheras. I said heucheras. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. And hellebores. Because yeah. those are such, you use those words in everyday conversation. Right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So anyhow. Anyway, we, we're doing hellebores today. Hellebores. Hellebores. And they are lovely winter, winter blooming flowers. Um. So mine, like I said, are going to be, they're going on their first year. So probably two years for me. And uh, I really am excited. They continue, they're a slow grower, but with a little bit of TLC today, we're going to make them happier. Here we go. That should probably be enough. I'm going to take more. It's better to have more than not enough. Okay. So we're going to go on up, oh my goodness, to the uh, bled. I'll meet you there. So this is my little side garden where the water barrel usually is, and that's where all the tools are kept. And I've got tools. These are the tools I'm going to use today, all sharp, clean, and Freshly painted. spray painted. Yay. Freshly spray painted. This is my dandelion digger, but I want it while I'm out here. This is the tick seed. Chickweed? Chickweed. <laughs> This is the chickweed, and look at this little thing, how it comes up so easily. And look at those blooms on it. We don't want it going to bloom, because then it goes to seed, and it just shoots all over the place. So I've pulled up a few already, and um, that will not, that'll probably go on the river's edge right there. Does not go in compost. But what we're talking about today are my heucheras. No. Ah, uh, no, hellebores. These are hellebores. This is a heuchera that needs look where it's heaved up out of the ground or else one of my cats one of my cats it's still rooted while i'm talking about that i'm gonna i'm gonna dig that out and replant it in some compost we are about the h's i guess today but let's get this in some soil this is that guacamole and oh my goodness was it beautiful but it needs to be put back in the ground a lot of times with heave and the thaw and uh freeze and thaw thaw of a ground yeah, especially it'll if they up. don't have a lot of deep root that's right and so i want to get this planter back in there and i'm actually going to cut some of this off so it'll get in there a little better so if you come out and you find some plants have heaved up i would go ahead and get them back in the ground get those roots covered up and uh Hopefully, I love this guacamole. This guacamole will come back 
just fine because there were some roots still on the ground and I don't know who to blame. My cat, Midge, who really likes to, you know, she likes to dig. There, it's back in. Okay, but what we're after are our hellebores. And right here in front of me, Reg, is a good picture, a good view of the hellebore's new growth. Yeah, you got to get out of the way. Let me get out of the no, way. No, no, you're good. Let me get Am I good? Yeah, let me get over here. Okay, you growth. can see this new growth here. And with hellebores, they stay nice and they can be evergreen through uh, zone six through nine. And I've mentioned before many times that um, <laughs> don't step on everything to my producer, <laughs> that I still like to feel like I'm in a zone five because so many things get really chilled out and frozen back. But um, when your hellebores start looking really tattered this time of year cut them back because all this new foliage it's almost like you're killing the plant you're it is kill, i know the plant that's and i the, hope i don't you well, know no, you is, see the new growth right there i think yeah. that you know that's a positive thing it is this is an old fern but and right above it is another hellebore and you can see the nice new green growth under that old mm-hmm so we're going to cut that back. Well, I'm not going to walk in there because no, I'll get don't. chastised for no, because... stepping on something. Because <laughs> I have daffodils right here well, coming up. Them. and yeah. Then we have the primrose. So it's kind of hard to watch the camera and, and, and walk step. at the I same know. time. That's and the all. primrose, like right now is a good time. I'm jumping from things to things, but um, it's a good time with your primrose. Cut back this old dead foliage. Look how much prettier. Okay, Teresa. I know stay focused um so let's go ahead let's cut back the dead on my hellebore when you cut the hellebore you cut clear back um that's going to make it easier for reg to see there's a little growth you want to take it clear back to the end of the plant clear back in there and you can see the new growth coming up here not as aggressive as on the other plant, but I can still see it. Yes, I know. But you're going to cut. You can see how dead this one looks really yucky. So you cut that clear back. And then we're going to put compost all around these pretty new. I'll put that up there for now. Get this cleaned off. Our temperatures, like I said, are going to be 40s and 50s this week no nine degrees oh my goodness that was something and with the hellebores i think i mentioned they're hardy four through nine they like to be in well-drained soil they do best in partial shade to shade now if you're under uh, uh an evergreen they stay pretty much in the shade if you're under deciduous trees it's good to have them under deciduous trees. Once they lose their leaves, then in the winter, they can get a little more sun. This is a good spot. Mine get a little sun in the winter, but they stay shaded through the summer. And then you fertilize this time of year with your uh, compost and your composted manure. I think that's, and they like moisture. When you first plant them, you want to keep them watered, but then once they're established, they're good to go. They're wonderful perennials because even though in the winter it gets cold and look like they're dead, their roots stay really healthy under the ground. Let me go ahead and take that one off. There's that. I have one more over there, but I'm not going to worry with doing that now. It's easier for Reg just to see me here. So well, I might step on something. Well, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> so let's get compost and get that all around the plant get that in there not on top of it tracy just around it oh, oh, oh. here we go it's easier this way throw that on there all that nice rich soil i'm going to go ahead and put that around guacamole while i'm here i don't want to step on this one either And wait, 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 let me dig, get my digger. Here's a dandelion in here. So see, when you're out in your garden and you see this stuff, don't just let it sit there. 
get that dandelion out of there. You don't want dandelions in here. No way. Oh, here's uh, daffodils. <laughs> Are you getting excited? I'm excited. No, I mean, seriously. Don't, I am. Don't you get a little restless in the winter? Oh, my goodness. Do you think? It's yeah. been so long. I yesterday, have to live with you. I know. Yesterday, it was daylight till 6 o'clock. And who else noticed that? Someone on my Facebook page. I think it, uh, oh, I know who it was. It was Ashley. She noticed it. I noticed it. I think y'all didn't told you, Reggie, six o'clock and it's still sunny. So that's all you have to do for the winter um, prep of your heucheras. Get them cleaned up nice. Oh, there we go. Don't forget where you left them. Give them a nice feeding of your compost. And oh, these are I have a little tag. I have double whites and red and winter plum in these that are right in here. So that one over there on the other side, it's the that, same. Yeah, that one needs to be trimmed. It's yeah, it's the same too. Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing to it, but I'm not gonna walk over there and do all of that. So we've got that done, that done, that done. Hucra guacamole stick that in there i have tags put tags on things people but the rest of what i'm going to do today is i'm going to clean up all of my heucheras the old day lilies look here mary just to make this space look nice and clean it'll make me happy it'll make you happier all of this the heucheras they've held up pretty well the this is my um Dolce Wildberry, unbelievable. They are gorgeous. Well, they're going to get a little clean up too. And uh, I'll probably end up walking through the rest of my garden and pick out any of that chickweed today. So do the same. Get out. It's a beautiful day. And we will see you in the next one. And hopefully the heucheras will be in bloom. Bye.